There is one more issue that you should really be aware of when it comes to using a certain for loop with arrays. Let's go ahead and comment all this out and I'll go ahead and copy my array one more time and I'll just call it something else. I'll call it names2 maybe. Let's see, names2. So I have a names2 array and again it says Jakob, John, and Joe. Okay, so let's leave that aside for now. And let's create an object literal. We'll create obj, let's say my obj, and we'll create it as an object literal. We'll put the semicolon there. And we'll say name Yaakov. We'll say another property course, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, comma. And we'll say platform, Coursera. Okay, so that's good enough. So now there's something we actually haven't seen yet and I haven't shown you. And there's a special for loop that you can use to traverse the properties of an object. So this for loop looks like this. It's a for, and you declare it as a var, prop in my obj. So basically it'll say, I want to grab every property in my object. This is what this prop is going to be. So it's very convenient for objects because objects don't really have indices like an array does, it has properties. So let's go ahead and console that out console.log prop and we'll say semicolon here we we'll add that in and we'll add my obj and we'll give it prop again and since dot notation and the brackets notation are equivalent I'm allowed to do this so this is lets us kind of a calculate it in the calculated property okay so if I save that and I'll see that it's printing out name, that's the name of the property, and the value, name of the property, and the value, name property, and the value. Okay, that's all great. Now we know that in JavaScript, arrays are just objects, and the indices are just property names. So technically speaking, I could use the same type of for loop on my names to array as well. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's actually comment this out for a minute so we don't have it crowd our console. Let's make a little bit more room. Okay, so now let's say for name in names. So it sounds pretty good. So we'll say console.log and we'll say hi, hello, and we'll say names and we'll use a computed property notation name. So every time through the loop, this name will be equal a different property of the array. So in the first time, it will be equal zero because that's a property name of the array. The second time will be equal one and the third time it'll be equal two. So this should work. Let's go ahead and save that. And I messed up something here. Names is not defined, of course not. Names two. Let's go ahead and say names two here. Let's save that again. Names two is still not defined. And that's because I didn't put names two right here. Okay, so now it'll work. So now it says hello Yaakov, hello John, and hello Joe. But the problem with this for loop is that arrays are objects after all. So if, for example, there's nothing wrong with me saying names to that greeting is equal to hi. Let's say I want to save a specific greeting that I want to use. So now if I use the same array, I'll go ahead and copy that and say afterwards, hi. And now if I use the same array and let's go ahead and comment that out for a minute and save it, what I'm going to get is hello Yaakov, hello John, hello Joe, hello hi. Now the reason that is is because the greeting became a property of the array no different than a number zero or number two or number one and so on. Greeting becomes a property of the array. And this for loop loops over the property names of the object. And since again, arrays are just objects in JavaScript, this for loop will loop over properties even over properties that really have nothing to do with the core data that we want to loop over.